Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to Transport Fever. We are going to go as fast as we can in a train. Faster than ever before. We're heading to France where we're going to set up the high-speed rail line there. So go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more Transport Fever. And thanks in advance for your support. And let me know down below in the comments section what your favorite fast train is of all time. I don't really know too many, so I'm just going to say any Japanese bullet train. I really hope that there's some DLC to head over to Asia. I think that'd be absolutely phenomenal. So, anyway, go ahead and show your support, and let's go ahead and get started with the mission. All right, so anyway, we're the heading over to Europe. Oh, hold on here. Let's listen to our briefing for Cutting Edge launched. Technology. France has shown us all how it's done. Yes. The entire world is marveling at Concorde, which soars through the air at almost twice the speed. There's just no equivalent on the ground. The Concorde is little use for domestic travel. The oil crisis has plunged the country into a deep recession, and on top of that has made air travel more expensive. It's time for a new great technical achievement, a sign that France has what it takes to remain a great, innovative nation, even in difficult times. Let's prove that our industrial nation is still leading the way in cutting-edge technology. Very good. Sounds good to me. So anyway, five objectives to complete here. Pride of the nation. Complete everything before 1995. Never make use of a grant. Achieve a speed of more than 280 kilometers per hour. Uh, tr achieve a journey. Oh, time less than five minutes between Paris and Lyon, and the masses transport 500 passengers in one year. All right, all aboard, let's get started. Here we go. France, end of the 70s. Shortly before his death, President Georges Pompidou laid some key political foundations. We will develop the next generation of high-speed trains. Soon, the world's fastest trains will be zipping across France. For our undertaking, we'll need lines as straight as arrows for the new trains to whiz along at astronomical speeds to their destinations. Our objective is to ensure that the train outstrips the plane in terms of speed and that rail becomes the most popular means of transport for domestic travel. We'll make our high-speed train the pride of the entire nation. Okay, so obviously we're going for high speed here, so we're going to try to build a train line as straight as possible between Paris and Lyon before the year 1995. We need to deliver 500 passengers at the highest speed possible without taking out any additional grants. We've got $50 million to do so, and I think I've already kind of sniffed out our route here. I think the best way to go would be up around here. Uh, just to the other side of these mountains here and straight into Lyon. But we'll get building that in just a second. Let's see what we got to do to accomplish our mission. The stretch between Paris and Lyon is absolutely perfect for the first stage of our project. At the moment, the journey is a bumpy ride. It rocks and rattles, and tea spills over the brims of cups along the bends. What's more, the journey takes far too long. If a line worthy of the new high-speed train is to be built here, we'll need to make urgent improvements. Let's lay the track so that we avoid having to break. This is the only way we can achieve truly high speeds. The connection should also be as direct as possible. Our budget is limited, so a single track line with passing sidings will have to do. All right, I think we can actually get by by building uh, multiple tracks here in just a moment. But anyway, we're going to try to get this thing in at uh, five minutes rather than the uh, seven minutes they want us to cut down to twenty. Uh, they want us to get down twenty seconds to seven minutes exactly. So I think I've kind of sniffed out our route over here. So sit back, enjoy your tea. Let's take some time here as we uh, now start to build our gigantic train line. Again, we want to try to keep this thing as straight as possible, as the uh, narrator said, so that way we can have as high a speeds as possible. So, we'll go ahead and build by uh, going up here first. I want to go up in this direction, and then I want to circle down and see if we can build uh, a train tunnel or something down here in order to uh, get through this section here. But uh, we'll be using bridges eventually, but I don't want to do so just yet. I want to make sure we hug the land as much as possible. That way it'll save us some money and some time, too, because we won't need to build these uh, giant bridges and such. So let's try to hug the land as much as possible. And I think we'll come down here. There we go. If we build small sections like this, that, that'll definitely help. Let's go ahead and now connect up here. Ah, uh, yes, we want to build a tunnel. We want to try to keep ourselves at 186 as, at all times, if possible. And that's, oh, that's absolutely perfect right there. That is absolutely perfect. Check that out. It looks gorgeous. That's a perfectly executed turn at 186. Though I think we're going to have to make a big turn here. We're going to have to go through that mountain. So let's see how fast of a turn we can make through here. Oh, boy. We might actually end up building a, a bridge here, I think. 
Mm, we also have to go circle back to the right side. So we want to try to keep up at 186, but remember, with tur necessary turns, we've got to drop down a couple of a uh, couple of miles, a couple of uh, digits on our speedometer. 186 here should be good. I don't want to cut through the the hills like that. That's just unnecessarily expensive. So let's just try to keep our train as flat as possible on the ground rather than cutting through any land unnecessarily. Actually, uh, before we go any further, I'm going to try to build something coming out of the station. Let's get rid of our mission now. Five objectives to complete here. We went over those previously. Let's go ahead and see if we can build a turn out of the station. That's about as good as it's going to get. But, again, when you're coming into a station, you don't want to be going too fast either. But once our... Uh, wow, why, how come 138 right here? Why the uh, sudden slowdown for no reason? Seems like an interesting... Uh, Interesting slowdown. There doesn't seem to be any reason whatsoever for a slowdown here. Maybe it'll work itself out. All right, time to uh, execute our big left turn now. Let's see if we can keep ourselves up at like 100 and 130 would do. And then we'll probably go underneath here. Oh, maybe a little bit of a bridge. Oh, we could go into a tunnel right around the other side. And a beautiful looking bridge right here. Let's make sure we build it out of steel. 136. Well, that's better than nothing. In fact, this will be the slowest leg of our journey, uh, journey, but we are pretty good in terms of keeping things flat. There we go. All right. And then up to here, I think, is where we're going to go now. I think we want to reach up over here somewhere. So we'll have plenty of room for this. All right, let's go ahead and lay this down. Keeping things pretty high speed, even though we've got to make some pretty big turns. And uh, we're cutting into the mountain pretty deep here. There's a large ridge that comes down. And again, it's cheaper to build a tunnel, if you'd believe it. Uh, it's much easier to build through a mountain than it is to move all that dirt and soil and rock and everything else out of the way. But that's probably our most expensive part of the journey so far. Let's continue to build little by little. Try to hug the ground as much as possible, remember. And this, of course, will save on some expenses. I wonder if we can build a mountain uh, through the mountain here. Tunnel would be nice. Oh, very good. Let's build it maybe halfway through. And then we'll come up on the other side. There we go. Very nice. Alright, then we got to get up over here to the right side, so let's make sure we do that. Maintaining that 186. Kind of an unnecessary tunnel if you think about it, but I didn't want to move all that dirt. More tunnels, the better, though. It'll definitely make our route look picturesque, and I'm going for pretty here today. All right, let's go ahead and connect up over here. Very good. Okay, so what we want to do is we eventually want to get up here, so we could probably build a tunnel through to get up to here, right? Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect, man. And then what we can do is once we're up this high, we're going to build ourselves a uh, tunnel on the other side to lower us back down. So we'll have a tunnel coming out of the mountain here. Gorgeous. And then it'll come down to the other side. So let's connect this section here. This is going to be a nice straightaway right here. Perfect. Look at that. Real good high speed right here. And the elevation all the way up to the side of the mountain. So we're gaining elevation here, and we're maintaining speed at the same time. Huge, huge plus for us. Okay, this is going to be uh, where we're going to start wanting to build our tunnel. So let's start right about here. So we want to build a tunnel then all the way through to the other side, and if we can come out of the mountain, let's see if we can go even lower, if we can come out of the mountain somewhere over here, I wish we could get a little further, oh, there we go, that's what we're looking for, there we go, that looks gorgeous, absolutely cool, alright, so we go under the big part of the mountain, out into the forest, and then we're on some pretty flat land, as we'll bend back to the left to get to uh, Lyon then. Let's try to maintain that 186. All right, hold on. Let's back off just a bit. All right, let's try to maintain that 186. There we go. It seems like we're continuously going down. Oh, and we're really hugging the land nicely here. I'm going to keep going left just a little bit more, and then I want to start circling back to the right. So that way we can link up with the line up here. Well, that road's kind of in our way. Let's get rid of that. That's not... That road right there is not necessary at all. Move that out of the way. And then we'll get this uh, route all the way up here.
Now, again, we're coming into the station here at Lyon. So we don't need to go fast for much longer. But again, the faster the better in some cases. Let's try to get up to 165 if we can. And as we're coming into the station... Alright, things look good. Okay, so we should have our faster route ready to go. There's a big turn here into the end of the station, but we kind of needed to get around that mountain to connect up with the pre-existing track to save us money, and we've only spent $10 million. So keep in mind, we'll have to buy some faster trains soon enough. <laughs> Looks like there's a local bus company that's taken over as well at the airport, so uh, I want to be preempt uh, do a preempt preemptive strike on this, but unfortunately our bus companies won't let us build just yet. I was thinking about connecting these stations to the actual uh, cities, but we can't do that just yet. So now our train should have changed. Yeah, look at that. It's taken the faster route. And it looks like with these current trains, train one here from Paris to Lyon has a train that can only go 87 miles per hour as its fastest speed. I should probably switch it to kilometers in a minute, but we'll do that when we're doing our speed test. So this current train right here is the class 1042, built in 1960, 87 miles per hour. Now, of course, I'm sure you're screaming for me to buy the class 103, which can do 124, but the big drawback is that we can only use the Einheitswagen 2, which is uh, 87 miles per hour max. So we got to wait until a faster train car is researched before we can do that. So anyway, let's go ahead and just wait here. And uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this train. Where's our uh, other train? We may as well disable the contour lines. We don't need that at the moment. Where's our beautiful train? Here she is. So if we want to hop on this train, unfortunately, it's going to be looking backwards into our cars. And the reason that is is because th they've set it up to uh, basically the front side of the car, uh, the train is facing towards the cars in the back. An electric uh, train like this can go forwards and backwards with no needing to switch to be to the front or the back of the train. But in this case, it's facing backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend that this train first return to the depot so we can change that. Because I want to ride this train. Now, this is an absolutely gorgeous train line here. But I think ours is a little bit better. And we've got a nice connection here. We didn't miss any beats, so it looks good. Could have definitely done things a little bit different, but given our landscape and our budget, I think we've uh, stuck to a really good plan here. We've got a... Uh, Do we have a gorgeous bridge anywhere? We really would have liked to have built a bridge some somewhere, but we did a good job of holding to the land. We've uh, really, really hugged it nicely, so we're about back to the station here. But uh, no, no bridges for us, unfortunately. We should have built one maybe... Uh, I wish we could have built one somewhere. Maybe right here, but that would have kind of been unnecessary. But doesn't matter. There'll be plenty of budget for more building here in just a minute. All right, looks like our train's almost back to the depot. So what we're going to do first is we're going to connect this up uh, in a different way. So just wait for this train to get back just so we can ride it. All right, so back to the depot we go. And good, we're inside. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to open this uh, train up in the depot. And we're going to move this. Watch this. I'm going to do some crazy magic right now. Here we go. We're going to move this from the front to the back like this. So let's go ahead and put this car last if we can. There we go. So it should have switched around, I believe. So let's go ahead and make sure it, it did that. I gotta grab... Oh, oh there you go. Alright, so it is reversed now. So this should hopefully work. So now we're gonna put this train back on Paris to Lyon. And let's go ahead and take a ride. Here she comes. Oh, oh okay. Now it's, dri now it's driving in reverse. Oh boy. Hey, well, wait a minute. Now that's good. Now we're sitting in the back car. Nice. Okay. So, oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Got to take a screenshot of that. That's beautiful right there. Eiffel Tower off in the distance. Paris. You can see all the factories and stuff churning away. Mm. Well, I've got myself a little bit of a drink. I don't know about you, but sit back. This is going to be a nice scenic ride now. We're going to proceed at the uh, actual speed of the game. So right now we're doing about 35 miles an hour. We'll our maximum, of course, will be 87. Wow, you can see a plane coming in off the uh, uh, off the left. You can see it looks like a 737, I believe. All right, we're now going into the Paris station, and we'll be leaving here in just a moment. Wow, look at that plane coming in. That's gorgeous. All right, I hope I hope everything goes well. I hope we can still see. Can't wait to get those faster trains. I believe the uh, fastest trains, too. By the way, I. I, I previously picked the Japanese planes, bullet trains, but I really would love to see uh, the, what are they called? The TGBs or something? I don't know the exact name, but you'll have to let me know down below. Great music. 
beautiful, that, that plane coming in like that. All right, we're heading to Lyon, so remember, we've got to go through like four or five tunnels. I wish we had, would have had a bridge on this route. I'm more interested in making a gorgeous-looking route than actually, you know, doing things as fast as possible. But anyway, at least we'll have a nice, beautiful start to this uh, route. And we've, we've made record time, too, in building this one. I thought it would be much more difficult. But again, remember, we're trying to get in under seven minutes on this train line. So hopefully we've cut off 20 seconds by, one, having straight shot tracks, two, by using tunnels, and three, by going a more direct route than going way off to the side to hug the river between those two locations. All right, we're getting up to speed now. We're doing 62, 63. So hopefully we get up to that 87 shortly. This train is probably not as powerful as the other ones, but once we've hit the straightaways, we should be doing max speed pretty shortly. Another, wow, two planes flying up there. Gorgeous, if you can see those off into the distance. Beautiful, we're into the tunnel. All right, we are now through the first tunnel. And again, we'll have that left-hand turn coming up, which will bring us down to about... I don't know, I think it was like 90 miles per hour, so we might not actually be hindered at all in this train for our speed. At least I'm hoping not. We're now doing 85, our maximum in this train is 87. And we've now hit that right before the turn. Big beautiful turn here. Nice, we're not going to be hindered at all. Oh, we do have a bridge. I forgot about that. Yes. How could I have forgotten? The, the, the bridge going right into the tunnel. That's absolutely gorgeous right there. That's beautiful. I want to put a bunch of trees around this and make it look gorgeous. Nice. All right, we're up at 87. Still hugging the side of the mountain at max speed. And a beautiful turn in the mountain as well. All right, so now we're basically on the straightaway all the way to Lyon. So not, not much longer. I wonder if this is actually seven minutes. Like if you were to time this in real time, would it be seven minutes between the two locations? Someone get out your stopwatch. Get out your Android or your iPhone or if you're a gym teacher, your old Seiko. All right, into our third tunnel now. And again, this one was kind of like a, an unnecessary expense, but I didn't want to dig through the whole mountain. And we come down and go up a little bit on this one as we now make our ascent up into the what would seemingly be the mountains. Beautiful. Wow, we're, hit, we're hitting it high, man. We're at 87 the whole time. I don't think we've had to slow down once. And we won't need to until we reach Lyon to connect to that other station. Unfortunately, we can't look around. But man, is this, th this is just an absolutely beautiful game. You can go into first-person mode in the cars, in the boats, in the planes, everything. So it's really, really amazing. Can't wait to make this route look beautiful. Oh, man. All right, here comes our, what, tunnel number four or five? Oh, I, I lost count now. I want another bridge, though. I really like those bridges. Still at 87. We are maxed out at 87 miles per hour. All right, yet another tunnel. I wish we could look to our left. I, I bet you the uh, the sight is beautiful on the left side, being able to look over the river. But we got to pay attention to the tracks. Now, eventually, I want to build a second line to this train line, and it shouldn't be all that expensive. We've really optimized on our uh, on our route in terms of economics. But now it's time to come down into Lyon. Ooh, this is beautiful. Wow, that's really something. Said that like Owen Wilson there. Wow. All right, so into Lyon, main station, very shortly. Look at it off to the left side. You can see the factories near the river and the previous train bridge. Unfortunately, if we destroy those old tracks, we do not get money back for that. So that's kind of unfortunate. But it is what it is. Okay, so we're coming into the main line, into the main station. And you can see the skyline of Lyon there. Oop. There we go. Returning to smoothness. Very nice. 
87 miles per hour the entirety of the trip. There goes the Concorde now off into the sky. Now we might need to run this twice in order to uh, have the game register the trip. So it might be another quick trip for us, though I'm not going to wait that long. We'll just speed it up if that's the case. But it's been very beautiful being able to follow this route. And now we're in a, again alongside the mountain and the river over there, or the, uh, the lake, whatever that happens to be. And we'll be going across that again. We'll be crossing a river. Our first and only river crossing here on the Lyon-Paris line. Man, this is actually exciting. I, I, you'd think a trade ride would be boring, but I've actually, I've actually enjoyed this quite a lot. I hope you have as well. Bridges in this game look gorgeous, just beautiful. The atmosphere, the landscape, I just love it. Okay, into the Lyon station we go, and let's see what the timing is on this one. Again, we were in the passenger car, I guess, sitting and chilling all together. So as we come into the station, we will see that we've cut it down from 7 minutes and 20 seconds to, let's see, hopefully shorter. Ha, <laughs> 7.05. Okay, so an extra couple of seconds there, I think, from when we left our depot and entered the green circle took us a little extra time. So uh, it'll be a little bit better this time around. So let's go ahead and speed it up here. Now you might be thinking, oh, God, that was a horrible line. It didn't save any time at all. But I guarantee you, as soon as the uh, train gets back to the other side, it'll be much faster. So, uh, as you can see, this train here on the right side, having a lot of bends and curves and such to stick to the river. But over here on the left side, we've gone s relatively straight right into Paris. The only time that we experience any sort of turn is when we basically go around this mountain here and actually help get a little bit closer to the station. So, in my opinion, that's about the best route I think we can take. And if we do it, if we do so with a faster train, we're not going to be able to do that because we the cars limit how fast your train can go. We can only go uh, one or sorry 87 with our fastest train being able to do I believe 124. So look at how fast that train's going now. Our trains in the future should be able to go about this fast. So very nice to uh, see our uh, Dirch Jill visit. They forgot to translate it from German, but anyway, it's almost done. So let's go ahead and take a look. I think there's a few mo more uh, mission objectives for us. Let's try to anticipate what they might want us to do. There's a goods section here, so we could transport goods via high-speed rail. And it looked like there also was a machine factory over here as well. So something they want us to do with those. And those are the only two I see, so everything else is going to rely on passenger uh, travel between the two major cities. So let's see how much longer it takes us to get into the station. It looks like we're about here. And pull into the station. I hope to see this thing highly reduced. Come on, baby. Give me that better time. Very good. Very nice. We've been able to reduce the journey time considerably. Not long now until the TGV high-speed trains are operational. However, the train stations in Paris and Lyon are very poorly connected. They're located outside of the cities, out in the sticks. If we want our service to be popular, we should make sure that people can reach the train in the first place. Okay, so now we got to build bus lines connecting to the trains and transport 500 passengers. So thank you very much for joining me for the inaugural trip between Paris and Lyon. I will see you guys on the next train as we continue with more transport. F oh, man, I got the fever bad, man. <laughs> transport fever. All right, I will see you all soon. Goodbye.